Hey, what's up guys? Happy weekend. It is another weekend. That means it's time for me to let you know about the new movies coming out this week, as well as giving you my weekend box office predictions. But as always, before we can take a look ahead, let's go ahead and take a look back and see how movies performed at the box office last weekend. The Girl on the Train easily grabbed the top spot last weekend with $24.5 million. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children dropped just one position to the number two spot with $15 million. Meanwhile, Deepwater Horizon, The Magnificent Seven, and Storks rounded out the top five. Comparing my predictions to the actuals, I once again had a pretty good week last week. I correctly guessed the top four movies last weekend, swapping The Birth of the Nation and Storks in the five and six spots. I thought that Don't Breathe would have had a little bit more life in the top 10, especially since now we're in October and there aren't any horror movies out there, but I am glad that, that The Queen of Katwe managed to remain in the top 10 for one more week. Overall, I had a score of 7 out of 10 last week for the second week in a row. That brings my lifetime percentage to 60.54%. Now let's talk about what's opening up this weekend at a theater near you. This weekend sees the release of three new movies, The Accountant, Kevin Hart, What Now, and Max Steele. First up, let's talk about The Accountant. Christian Wolf is a mathematics savant with more affinity for numbers than people. Using a small town CPA office as a cover, he makes his living as a freelance accountant for dangerous criminal organizations. With a treasury agent hot on his heels, Christian takes a state-of-the-art robotics company as a legitimate client. As Wolf gets closer to the truth about a discrepancy that involves millions of dollars, the body count starts to rise. The Accountant stars Anna Kendrick, Ben Affleck, John Bernthal, Jeffrey Tambor, J.K. Simmons, and John Lithgow. It is rated R for strong violence and language throughout. Next we have Kevin Hart, What Now? Comic Kevin Hart performs his stand-up routine in front of 50,000 people at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Kevin Hart, What Now? stars Kevin Hart, Halle Berry, and Don Cheadle. It is rated R for some sexual material and language throughout. The third movie coming out this weekend is Max Steel. Teenager Max McGrath discovers that his body can generate the most powerful energy in the universe. Steel is a funny, slightly rebellious, techno-organic extraterrestrial who wants to utilize Max's skills. When the two meet, they combine together to become Max Steel a superhero with unmatched strength on Earth. They soon learn to rely on each other when Max Steel must square off against an unstoppable enemy from another galaxy. Max Steel stars Ben Winchell, Josh Brenner, Maria Bello, and Andy Garcia. It is rated PG-13 for some sci-fi action violence. And now that we know what the new movies are this weekend, let's see how they'll stack up against the holdovers. It's time for my weekend box office predictions. I think The Accountant will take the number one spot this weekend. This really shouldn't surprise anyone. The race for number two will be pretty tight, I think, between Kevin Hart, What Now, and The Girl on the Train. I'm going to give the slight edge to Kevin Hart because he is a popular comedian right now and because The Girl on the Train has received pretty mixed reviews. If The Girl on the Train was performing better, I think it would have an easier job getting to number two. As it is, I think it'll come in at number three this week. At number 4, I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I think Deepwater Horizon will come in at number 5. I have The Magnificent Seven dropping to number 6 place this weekend. The bottom of the pack will likely be a tight race as well, and I've been debating where to place these next films. I'll put Storks coming in 7th, followed by The Birth of a Nation at number 8. At number 9, I have Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life. And finally, at number 10, I have Max Steel. I've not seen any promotion for this movie, and honestly, I didn't even know it was coming out until I was putting together my monthly movie preview show a couple weeks ago. I have the most vague recollection of Max Steel from the late 80s or early 90s or whenever the character was first introduced, but I really don't see anyone clamoring to see a big screen adaptation of it, and I don't see this movie performing well at all. And so to recap, number 10, Max Steel. Number 9, Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life. Number 8, The Birth of a Nation. Number 7, Storks. Number 6, The Magnificent Seven. Number 5, Deepwater Horizon. Number 4, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Number 3, The Girl on the Train. Number 2, Kevin Hart, What Now? And number 1, The Accountant. 
So there you have it guys, those are my predictions for the weekend of October 14th through 16th, 2016. Do you agree with my predictions or not? What movies are you looking forward to seeing this weekend? Let me know, sound off in the comment section down below. You guys, thank you so much as always for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button, that would really help me out a lot. And then make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel here so you don't miss any of my other videos. You can find me online at jafutosmovieblog.com, on Facebook at Jafuto's Movie Blog, and on Twitter simply at Jafuto's Blog. All those social media links can be found down below in the description like always. I'll be back soon with more movie reviews. Have an awesome weekend, and until next time, I will see you at the movies. Bye-bye.